What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Bad Dog, here with another New York Giants video. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. I do appreciate you watching very much. Excuse the appearance. I just got done with the gym. I was at the grocery store doing a little shopping, and I got the news of the New York Giants added quarterback Tyrod Taylor to the roster two years, $17 million. Now, there was a lot of talk about the Giants getting Mitch Trubisky and obviously Trubisky went uh, uh, to the Pittsburgh Steelers, so the Giants were out on him. I'll tell you, man, you know, I made that video about how the Giants were going to be making these moves. And not that these are enormous moves. They're certainly not. But these are effective moves. These are good moves by Joe Shane. Like I said in the original video when I was talking about how the Giants weren't going to make any big name, like big free agent splashes, that they were going to kind of be bargain shoppers. That is exactly what they're doing. Joe Shane has been very smart with the limited cap space that he has. Now, Daniel Jones, obviously, we don't know what his future is uh, as far as past this season. I'm going to go out and just say I don't believe he's coming back. I really don't. I don't believe the Giants are going to fifth-year option him um, unless he really blows it up this year. Um, I don't see him coming back in 2023. I don't see them giving Daniel Jones a second contract. But hey, you never know. Maybe Daniel Jones does have a good year. Maybe they really do fix this offensive line. And maybe he comes out under Dave Bowles' system with, with Kafka and, and a new team. And maybe he's really good. Maybe he is as good as some people think that he can be. And maybe he is exactly what we've seen him be in the first part of his career. You know, the first three years of his career. Maybe that is all that he is. But I do like the Tyrod Taylor signing. I don't believe that Tyrod Taylor is going to come in here and compete for the starting job with Daniel Jones at all. I can't see that happening now. I do like the fact that I would like some good old-fashioned competition. Maybe it'd push Daniel Jones to be a little bit to be a little bit better. But Tyrod Taylor does give something the Giants have not had since Eli Manning retired. And that is a legitimate, effective backup quarterback. I know it sounds funny to say Eli Manning is a backup quarterback, but in essence, that's what he was his last year with the New York Giants when he was benched in favor of Daniel Jones. So obviously, we've seen what the New York Giants were without Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones has had injury problems. He has not gotten through an entire season in his career without spending some time on the sideline with an injury. We've seen how, not that Colt McCoy, Colt McCoy wasn't, I mean, we did win a game with Colt McCoy, but Colt McCoy isn't going to light anybody. You know, he's not going to light up the scoreboard. The Giants weren't going to put up 40 points. Not that they can do that with Tyrod Taylor, but what I'm saying is Colt McCoy is not really a threat. And certainly last year, we saw how how absolutely god awful uh, the giraffe ET, you know, Mike Glennon was, and then even worse behind Glennon, if that was possible, it was Jake Fromm. I mean, he looked like he don't even belong in the NFL. So when teams are playing the New York Giants, as bad as we were with Daniel Jones, you knew we had absolutely zero chance to win a game uh, if Daniel Jones went down. And as bad as the offense looked with Daniel Jones there, not that that was all Daniel Jones' fault, but as bad as that offense looked, it looked 10 times, maybe 100 times worse without Daniel Jones. Tyrod Taylor's been in this league a long time. He can definitely be a very effective backup in case Daniel Jones uh, does have to miss some time. Hopefully Daniel Jones doesn't. Hopefully we don't need to see Tyrod Taylor um, out there in the field this year because it would mean that Daniel Jones could play a full 17-game season, which would be awesome for Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. I still believe that Daniel Jones would give the Giants a better chance to win than Tyrod Taylor. But again, if Daniel Jones struggles, if Daniel Jones gets nicked up, um, Tyrod Taylor would be waiting there in the wings, and the Giants would certainly be more effective than they've been for the last couple of years with Colt McCoy, Glennon, and Fromm sitting behind Daniel Jones. I, I like this signing. I, you know, Like I said, I thought they were going to go out and get Trubisky for this reason, but Tyrod Taylor certainly uh, can play in the NFL. He has proven he's been a starter in the NFL before. He's been pretty effective wherever he's been. And, you know, I, I, like I said, man, I love what Joe Shane and company are doing because we don't have a ton of cap space. We're not going to go out there. We're not going to make the big free agent splashes like they did last year with Kenny Galladay and Dory Jackson. But I do believe he's been very smart with what resources he's had. And I do believe that this strengthens the New York Giants um, quite a bit, you know, because, again, you, depth is very important in the NFL. And it's something that we really don't have with the Giants. We really don't. I mean, you look at when Galladay got hurt and Canarius Tony and Daniel Jones. I mean, what, what was sitting back there 
you know, not a lot. There, there was not a lot sitting back there. Uh, obviously, Tyrod Taylor is a massive upgrade over from and and Glennon and McCoy. So I, I like the signing a lot. Um like I said, man, you know, the Giants are doing things the right way. At least it seems that so far. I don't know if they're done. Um, I like that Shane's addressed the offensive line for sure. I, I put it on Twitter. Uh, you know, I feel like Shane has done more in the last two months than Gettleman's done in four years. And somebody said, well, you know, man, we got to see him on the field. I agree. I mean, the Giants, do. we do have to see what these guys do on the field. I'm not saying Shane has made the team better than Gettleman on the offensive line in four years. But what I'm saying is I feel like he's taken a bigger swing then Gettleman did. The fact that Dave Gettleman had six first round picks and he ended up only taking one offensive lineman in those first six round picks when he came in here saying he was going to fix the offensive line. That was what I meant by Joe Shane. I feel like has done more for the offensive line in just a couple of months than Gettleman did. Joe Shane's not done. He's got two top 10 draft picks. We could go two offensive linemen there. We could go an offensive lineman to five, defensive lineman at seven. We could trade back seven. We could go, uh, you know, a defensive end. Maybe Thibodeau's there at five and they go offensive lineman at seven. But the Giants have a lot of options. And I don't think that Joe Shane is done. And Joe Shane has made his money drafting offensive linemen that have been effective later in the draft. As a matter of fact, I think that he said all the starters, I don't know if it was on Buffalo. Um, you know, I, I think that he said they did not have a starter on that offensive line that was a first round pick. So obviously that's really good news for the New York Giants, because one thing that we've been lacking and we know this is Giants fans is a solid offensive line. So get that line fixed. Like I said, hopefully Daniel Jones stays completely healthy and we don't need to see Tyrod Taylor. But if something does happen, Daniel Jones's neck, hamstring, ankle, um, concussion. I mean, he's had a lot of issues I think that Tyrod Taylor can step in there and we would still have a chance to win games where you know when Mike Glennon was playing, we had absolutely no chance. So also brings a guy that maybe can help Daniel Jones out a little bit. You know, like I said, Tyrod Taylor's been in this league a long time. He's been a starter. Daniel Jones may need a guy that can help him out a little bit. You know, it's something that a lot of people do not talk about his rookie season. You know, say, oh, Shermer system and Shermer this and Shermer that. And yeah, Shermer probably had a lot to do with it. Eli Manning was there. Eli Manning was able to help Daniel Jones out. Eli Manning could guide Daniel Jones and help Daniel Jones. And I think that that is a big thing. That, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Tyrod Taylor is Eli Manning. But I think that's a big thing that Daniel Jones missed was that veteran presence, a guy that had started in the NFL for quite a while. Colt McCoy was not the most effective guy. Mike Glennon's one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the history of football. And obviously, what the hell is Fromm? Fromm probably, from probably won't even get a job. Uh, I, I can't imagine. Now, he probably will someplace. But let's face He was really bad. <laughs> Fromm was really bad. But again, I just like the overall package. Two years, $17 million is not a lot. If they do move on from Daniel Jones next year and they want to draft a uh, you know a quarterback in the draft, Tyrod Taylor can step in there. He can be a stopgap in 2023, and then you could have your starting quarterback in 2024. Or maybe Tyrod Taylor plays a few games in 2023, and then you bring in the rookie. But there's a lot to do with this. It gives the Giants a lot of flexibility, and it actually gives them a serviceable backup quarterback. Like I said, we haven't had that since 2019 when Eli Manning was the backup quarterback. So it's not like I'm overly excited about it, but I do really like what Joe Shane has done so far. And I just, I have a good feeling that he's going to nail this. Maybe I'm thinking with my heart, not my head. Maybe I'm just being optimistic. I know bad dog's always negative. A bad dog's trying not to be negative. Right now, you know, I'm not expecting a lot, but the way Joe Shane has done things, I got a good feeling we're going to do okay in the draft and we're going to find out soon enough. Let's see if the Giants make any more moves, but, you know, Tyrod Taylor, I like it. I think it's a good signing for the Giants and we'll see, um, we'll see what they do in training camp. If Tyrod Taylor really does come in here and challenge Joe Jones, I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Anyway, it's all I got in this video. I do appreciate you watching, guys. Please like, please subscribe. I'm going to go upstairs, take a shower, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm exhausted. Till next time, it's a bad day, Dizzle. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, everybody. I'm out. Peace.